I got mail. Let's see what's in here. Cut S60. So it's the rugged foam uh, licensed by Cat, and I'm really excited about this. So let's open it up. see what we have here. It's the phone itself with some... Uh, is it the sticker on here? Yeah, seems to be a sticker on here with some imaging on. We have the case. We have a USB cable. We have the power adapter. We have the... Uh, well, this is the warran warranty. And we have the instruction manual. Okay, so let's see if we can get this up and running. Let's begin with a size comparison. So this is the CAT S60 and uh, my previous phone was an iPhone 4S which I have been using this rubber case on. So as you can see this is quite a, a bit larger and um, I don't know what I'm going to think about that because I actually like this size. I'm kind of old fashioned in that way. And just for fun, I actually <laughs> still have my uh, original iPhone 3S, and uh, the 4S is almost equal in size. So there you have it the, the size comparison iPhone 4S the CAT S60 and the original iPhone 3S. The pleasure of removing the plastic sticker. The manual says that the Swedish instruction starts on page 88, but it's actually on page 76. First we're going to use this paper clip, the metallic paper clip, to move the SIM card from my old phone to my new CAT S60. You need some force to make this work. Okay, so there's the SIM card. And on the back here we have this hatch. And I just flip that open. And it says SIM1 there. And now the question is, do I have the correct SIM card size for this? Doesn't seem like I do. You need a nano SIM card for this phone. So let's move that to the side and let's pick out the nano sim card, the payment sim card that I actually have in my old iPhone. So just pop that out. Let's pop the nano sim card out of this this um, 
board here. Yeah, seems to be working. So there you have it. So now let's pop that in here. Okay, mission accomplished. Let's pop this into the, the wall for charging. So we take that into the wall and that into the phone. And in this hatch, open that. Hmm. Turns out you press the one side there. You have to press on the right side, it's on the lower side. There you go. So I suppose you should actually poke it with something not being my nail. Okay, so there's the port. Now let's put this in. There you go. So how do you check the battery? On the iPhone there is a button up here, but there is no button there on this phone. So let's try that one. Nope. That one. Nope. Let's try the home button of course. Nope. Let's try that one. That one, nope. Perhaps that one. Ah. Good enough. 98, 99% loaded. So let's see if we can figure out how to turn this on. So let's try the iPhone trick and just keep pressing. Yeah, seems to work. I pressed a long time on that one and uh, now it's powering on. Okay, so here's the welcome screen. I think I'll do that later on. Uh, local network. Checking the Wi-Fi connection. No, I have not. So let's go to the next. Log into Google. I'm logged into my Google account. Mm. I think I'm going to shut that off. Shut that off and that too. Let's go for that for now. Oh, it wants me to enter a payment and credit card. No, thank you. I can enter that information when I want to. Add more email accounts. I think I'm going to jump that for now. I have to log in to use this device, which, which is okay. Screen lock. Show notifications. I don't like notifications, I'm going to turn that off. The account is, is uh, ready to be used, so I click next. Here it's about bullet, that's telling me some law information. Ah, I just have to trust them, I don't know, there's a policy there. I suppose I should have read that. I don't want to... I actually, I actually want a somewhat quiet phone. I don't want to be disturbed all the time, so I'm, I'm going to not activate that. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, it was a help. I thought it was telling me to remove the SIM card, but uh, it's actually just, uh, just a little movie there showing how the phone works. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, look at that. I can capture that on camera. Like a little small of commercial movie here going on. So, enjoy. So there I have a reset button under this. Okay, that was a quick one. Welcome. Okay. Ah, there we are. We are in here. So, yeah, nice. I have a phone. Ok, 
Okay, so let's check out the, the thermal camera here. I guess that's the app. Uh, and we allow the application. And let's allow statistics also. Okay, so on the table here, I remove the camera. I have two cups. And of course I fill them with hot and uh, cold uh, liquid. And if I film them, we can see here that uh, it's actually showing it's showing um, showing that quite well. Isn't that disturbing? All the apps trying to ask you questions when you actually want to perform some operation. But uh, that's quite nice. And um, let's see what we have here. Um, we have uh, settings here. Photo, panorama, video, time lapse. That's interesting. Let's go back. Uh, okay, here we have uh, different um, settings for coloring scheme I suppose let's see if I can do something about the focus here okay I'm guessing this is the hottest point and this is the coldest point so I actually have a an, um, rock of ice in, in one cup so it's, uh, the, the minus degree there could be correct. So we have different coloring schemes here. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, seems to be working quite well. Of course, I must try my own hand. Ooh. <laughs> this is so fun. There you have it. The CAT S60, the thermal camera. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching and cheers. If you like my videos, feel free to do nothing. Just grab a cup of coffee. And enjoy.